Hey guys, it's Chris with Double Legal Gunworks, uh, and we're out here on the range today, and we're going to do a, a quick gun fitting uh, lesson. Uh, we've got two different revolvers uh, out here. Uh, this is the two re revolvers that Carla has uh, used as carry guns before. Uh, the first one that she bought was a Taurus uh, little uh, five-shot revolver. Uh, didn't really like the way that gun felt for some reason. Uh, and then the uh, one that she carries now, that which she likes a lot better, uh, is a Ruger LCR. Uh, and it's still same five shot, both of them in 38 Special, uh, both of them polymer frame pistols. Uh, the grip shape uh, is different on the two pistols. Uh, the, the Taurus uh, is a little more rounded. Uh, in the back it's got a longer grip and the undercut here uh, underneath the the trigger guard for you be able to get your your hand up in uh, is a little bit deeper than what it is on the uh, the Ruger the Ruger's grip is actually it's straighter it's not as curved uh, especially down at the butt uh, end of the um, the grip is not near as as curved a grip uh, the the finger grooves are deeper on this one and overall I would say it's probably a smaller grip than uh, what it is on the Taurus as well the undercut uh, going up behind the the trigger guard here is not as deep on the Ruger and uh, so let's get Carla over here and uh, take a look at it and uh, see what we can come up with. Okay, let's get Carla uh, in here and we'll look at two guns. Uh, since she's a lefty, we'll have, have her uh, hold the gun in the left hand. Now this is the, um, actually we'll, we'll start with the Taurus. Now uh, this is the first gun that she bought. Like I said uh, earlier, uh, she didn't like it that well. Uh, so let's take a look and see how the gun uh, fits your hand uh, and we've put both of these guns on uh, the the Lyman uh, digital trigger gauge uh, to measure the trigger uh, pull weight on both of these guns and one of the things that uh, Carla thought was the reason she liked the other one better was because the the Ruger had a, a lighter trigger pull actually it doesn't um, when we measured uh, both of the the trigger pulls on these two guns they were within a few ounces uh, of each other, both in single action and double action mode. So it's something more with the actual setup uh, of the gun, I think, that's going to be the issue with this one. Uh, so, Carla, go ahead and hold on to that one. Now, grip it like you would normally grip it when you're shooting. Just get your hand up here. So, with her grip on this one, and go go ahead and put your finger in the trigger like you were about to shoot okay her finger is going down uh, at a little bit of an angle here so it's not a straight back pull and is that a, that feel comfortable as far as where you would normally place your your finger at rest it seems fine okay uh, so the the grip on this one how does it feel in the the heel of your hand like I got plenty of room. Okay. I have small hands. Okay. So, but it, overall, it, it feels. It okay. felt fine when I tried it just at the gun show where I bought it. Okay. But when, when you're firing this one, uh, you seem to, to be able, not to be able to fire as many shots at I a get time. I finger fatigue. I'll show you. It, it's just been shooting here a minute. It just is hard to pull so I thought it had a large trigger weight but may not be the issue yeah okay so that's the Taurus now let's have you hold on to the the Ruger here okay so get the hand back up yeah tight there so put your finger in the trigger for me that's a better place to put it it's so, farther back so the the, the length of pull on this one 
is not quite as long uh, on this one. So from the the butt of the grip to where her finger hits the trigger is a little bit shorter with her smaller hands. Makes sense that a shorter uh, length of pull on the um, the trigger would make it easier for her to shoot. So, and with that one, you're also with the without the trigger guard being so so undercut like this one is, it gets her finger a little more in line with the trigger, so it, she's not quite coming at as much of an angle on the uh, the trigger guard as well. So pull it. That just feels better. I guess I'm not going as far back with it. So it, and the, when you're uh, looking at, at both of these guns and you start to pull the trigger, the, the Taurus, the trigger on it, it's, uh, it's not a, a real smooth trigger and it's got a, a point at the back of it where uh, it kind of hits the wall and it, it really uh, kind of stacks up as you're pulling the trigger so it's not a real smooth trigger pull on that one whereas the um, the Ruger is a lot smoother trigger it doesn't uh, stack up uh, when you're you're pulling the trigger so it's easier even though it's the same trigger pull weight basically as the Taurus it's easier to do this one especially since it fits her hand better as far as the the length uh, of pull on the grip uh, makes it a lot easier for her to pull the trigger multiple times on this one and not get uh, fatigued as easily because she's not having to reach as far uh, into the trigger. So we initially thought it was trigger weight, but uh, once we got the um, the pull gauge on the uh, both of these guns, turned out it wasn't the trigger weight because uh, both of them are about the same. So it was something with the ergonomics of the gun. So that's something that you need to look at when you are uh, looking for a gun. Don't just uh, take something that feels a little comfortable uh, at a gun show or uh, at a gun range, a gun shop that you're at. Make sure, uh, always if, you, if it's all, at all possible, fire the gun that you're wanting to shoot before uh, you actually buy the gun because you may wind up with the mechanics uh, of the gun, the way your hand fits the gun may not work out and you got a gun that now you're is a paperweight because it's no good to you so is it just for me it's not the right gun or is one gun actually better than the other if i had larger hands would i like the other one better well uh when i pull the trigger on both of these guns i like the the ruger uh better as well uh, just because of that stacking issue that you have uh, on this trigger uh, it uh, just does not pull as smoothly as uh, the Ruger does. Now, both of these guns are relatively inexpensive uh, based on uh, the gun. This one, um, I think, was maybe what? Maybe fifty dollars. Fifty, less. fifty to eighty dollars less uh, than the Ruger. But uh, the difference between a Taurus uh, and a Ruger. Sometimes just the, um, it may just be one particular gun, but uh, Ruger's make a nice revolver. Uh, Tarses are usually uh, pretty good guns, uh, but usually the fit and finish is gonna be a little bit better on the Ruger. Uh, it's a little more expensive a gun, not much, uh, but just the way the trigger uh, works on this one makes it easier to shoot uh, than what the, um, the Taurus does. Now, if you go to a, a bigger, a more expensive gun, uh, this is the, the Smith & Wesson. This one has got uh, a little bit longer trigger pull, but when Carla shot this one before, she likes it, but it is a much nicer trigger than in either one of these guns, but you're also paying a lot more for the, the Smith & Wesson 686 than you are the Ruger LCR. So. As the old saying goes, you get what you pay for. Uh, that is true uh, in guns. Uh, the less expensive guns, usually the mechanics of the guns are gonna be not as 
well they don't function as smoothly as the guns that you might pay just a little bit more money for um, so again if you can when you're choosing a gun if you can go out and shoot that gun then it's going to be a lot better choice for you uh, than if you just pick something up at a gun show and you think oh that, that feels okay but then you wind up regretting it when you start actually shooting a gun and it doesn't fit your hand and I think in retrospect if I had picked up two guns instead of one I might have felt the difference because they do feel different once you get them in their hands. This one just fits better. And so I think it's like trying on two pairs of shoes and maybe one of them is okay but the other one's better. And grip shape uh, also comes into play. I mean if one of the things that causes the Taurus to have a longer um, trigger pull I mean a longer length of pull than the Ruger is is this big belly on the back of the grip right here the the back of the Ruger is a lot flatter uh, than the Ruger is so it doesn't uh, where this one kind of hits the back of your hand and forces your hand out a little bit more the Ruger is a flatter more straight up grip uh, so it, it's easier to get, get your hand in closer uh, to the trigger. And uh, for more information on fitting guns, check out DoubleEagleGunWorks.com.